All right, so I ended up shooting the weekend last night. Um, for all intents and purposes, I would say it was pretty much a bust for the, for the photography standpoint. Um, I don't think anyone got good photos there. Uh, however, I found out the night before <laughs> that um, I think they were shooting, they're actually filming it or something, filming the tour or something, so that the photographers were getting pushed further back. I mean, we were, we were really, really, really far back, 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 way back, right? So I knew ahead of time what I was getting myself into. I like a challenge. Um, I like to see what I can do. Also, I just like the experience of going on a field or going to a concert and being in a place where no one else is getting to be. I enjoy that. So I knew what I was getting myself into. Not a big deal for me. I was like, oh, I'll make the best of it either way. Um, but what was, what actually was worked out for me and was good for me was that, um, they, well, they ended up adding way more photographers than I expected and than they were supposed to be apparently. Um, but one of the photographers lost his mind. Like there were, there was, there was a lot of energy going on and people were fighting in the crowd and stuff. And like, there was, there was all kinds of things just happening at this, at this, at this show. Right. But this one photographer who is supposed to be a professional, right? ends up yelling at our Live Nation contact. He's just screaming and yelling at the contact. I didn't get any shots. We're so far back. There's way too much fog. I couldn't get anything. You wasted my time. Just like berating her, just screaming at her, like in her face, just screaming and berating. This is why I'm glad I was there because I don't like a bully. And I've been working out a lot lately and I'm not afraid of much right now. And I had to get back and get at this guy and go after him because number one, the person who's your contact for Live Nation in a show in Chicago is working in Chicago. She is your connect here, whatever. She's not part of the tour. She's not the weekend. She's not the weekend's management. Whoever else is doing the tour, who'd made these decisions, it's not her problem. She's just there to guide you in, help you get set up, need you know whatever you need. That's it. And there was no reason for this guy to yell at her. And I like to stir the pot, so I went after him. And I told him he needed to learn how to edit, and he should be a professional, and, you know, if you are if you can't get a shot, then maybe you should be doing this in the first place. Like, don't don't yell at this poor girl who has nothing. And this guy was older than I am, and this girl was younger than I am, and it, was just, it just wasn't right. It wasn't right. So all in all, I mean, I did what I could with the photos. Uh, we were super far back. I used a 200mm lens, zoomed in all the way. You're going to see how it looks. Um, but all in all, it was, it was a fun experience for me. Uh, and it was also great being able to put that guy in his place, but you know, it is what it is.